side. So your girl's going skiing. Um, I'm freaking pumped, I'm freaking excited. I haven't done spring skiing in so long. Um, so right now I'm just driving up the mountain. I'm going over to Windham Mountain. Hit up Windham Mountain. Um, if you don't know that mountain, Google it, look it up. Sick ass mountain, guys. Um, this year by far was one of the best years of skiing. Um, and I didn't really vlog much of it, but I'm gonna do it today for you. So check this out. Oh, we made it to the mountain but what i'm super excited yo there's mad people here you can't really tell from the gopro but excuse me more people than i thought there would be um so i'm just gonna boot up get ready um yeah let's do it So y'all just got on the chairlift. And let me tell you, I am so pumped to ski all day. Like, this is so nice. I'm on here by myself. This looks like perfect bluebird day. Let's get it. the chairlift and we're going see you seeing all down here girl's about to rip some turns. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my dad here to videotape me, so as soon as he gets out here with me, you'll see me rip. Let's get All right, y'all, so I'm four, sh four runs down. Whew, let me tell you, it's freaking fabulous. 
Shout out to you, Dad. Doing a good job at this mountain thing. We've been at it for like 47 years, but you know, shout out to you. It's freaking bright. Damn. Sure is beautiful. So I know I told like in my first vlog that I did, my Q&A, I kind of mentioned a little bit about skiing, I think, if I could remember correctly. Um, but for those of you who don't really know me um, and those of you who have known me for years and are watching my vlogs, one, thanks. I appreciate it all. Um, but two, I was a skier. Um, I grew up skiing at this mountain, Windham Mountain. Um, I was like probably two years old when I started skiing. Uh, my parents got me in on you know, the, little, the little baby skis and boots and maybe I can insert a picture uh, so you guys can see me as a little, little nugget on the trail. Um, and apparently like, when I was really young, I really hated it. Like I didn't want to be out here, but I did it anyway. Um, but as I started getting a little older, uh, they put me in the race program here. So I would start racing on the weekends. Um, and then it kind of just took off from there. Uh, so I skied through high school. I made the varsity ski team in eighth grade. Um, I took a fitness exam so I could do five years on uh, varsity ski team for high school. And then I went off to college and raced uh, for Castleton University. Um, and at nationals, I think it was my senior year, placed like top 15, uh, which was a pretty awesome goal of mine. Uh, I got injured and said, screw it, I'm doing this for fun. So now I get to just come out here and enjoy it. Um, and it's definitely something, a hobby that I just freaking love. Um, if at any point I feel stressed or depressed or anxiety, if I can just come out here and do exactly what I'm doing right now, sitting on the chairlift by myself, obviously no one's here with me, um, and just ski. Like, I like to just go from the top to the bottom without stopping. And it's just something about the adrenaline and the, I don't know. I don't know. If you've ever done it, you totally understand what I'm feeling. But like, if you haven't yet, get out. Like, get out there. Um, and if maybe you're new to it or you've only done it a few times, shout out to you because guess what? This is a tough sport. But um, yeah, so that's kind of a little bit about my story, a little bit about kind of where I came from. Um, being in Florida for four years and only being able to come home and ski maybe once or twice during those four years um, it's just super bittersweet and you really don't take your uh, home for granted that's for sure um, but now I'm just gonna soak up every minute I have especially because it's warm out and the sun sh is shining uh, and I'll get back to you soon bye remember pull your masks up what's going on dad <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me go down and off. All right, let's get pops. So this man skis every single day since the mountain, right before the mountain opens to the day they shut down. He's crazy. Oh yeah, damn. He's almost freaking 65 years old. Look at his moves. Woo! <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 
dad says, let's ski it first. <laughs> We're way out here. did 11 runs, thought um, I spent some time with my dad, so I didn't really record much, but walking up to the car now. Yo, that was probably the best day of freaking skiing I have had in a really long time. Um, I was just so pumped to be out there, and it's just so sunny and so nice and so warm and just a good spring skiing day. Um, grab my keys, gotta stay hydrated, I'm thirsty. Yeah. Um, but hey, so now you guys know what one of my big hobbies is. Unfortunately, it's just a winter thing. Um, summertime, springtime, stuff like that. I got other things I like to do, so stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, hit that notification button. Um, because I got more coming for you guys. So, I hope you enjoy, hope you loved it. Forever love. <laughs>